Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and welcome to episode 7 of How to Write a High School Lab Report. Today we're taking a look at the analysis section. So the first thing with our analysis section, it should rigorously describe the observations. So first thing in that sentence, it has to relate to the observations. Second thing, rigorously describe. So your observation section just lists the things that you notice, whereas here when you say rigorously describes, that means you need an explanation for everything that you notice in your observations. They can include graphs, calculations, or paragraph form, or might include all three of these. Um, graphs, most of the labs that you guys will be doing in my class, you'll probably have a graph in there. Often you'll have calculations and Whenever there's a significant result, you must have it at least in sentence form or paragraph form when you're analyzing it. So most of the time for my labs, you're going to be doing all three of those things. Uh, marks. How are these marks? They're awarded for completeness, accuracy, and details. Your calculations should show every single step along the way. You should have proper significant digits and you should have units. If you're unsure, if you have enough steps along the way, see that it's something that someone else could follow all of the steps. So if you jump from one step to another and someone has trouble understanding where you got from one step to the next, you probably need some more information in there. And if you're ever unsure, just come ask me. The graphs need to be formatted properly, so things like titles, labels, axes, legends, units, all of those things. If you don't remember how to format a graph, please watch the video on graphing. And then the data in the graphs should be found in the observation section. And I'm not sure why a lot of high school students have trouble with this, but you can't introduce any new information in the analysis section. The data should already be in the observation section and you're just analyzing it. If there's any new data, make sure that you put a data table in the observation section. Final thing, it must be in past tense and it needs to be in passive voice. And we use passive voice to avoid personal pronouns like I, we, me, us, and so on. Your English teachers hate passive voice, but in science we need to use it. So instead of writing, we measured the average speed to be 22 kilometers an hour, instead you would write the average speed was 22 kilometers per hour. So we avoided using the word we. All right, that's all for analysis. Bye-bye.